did that last one because it was getting a bit messy. Um, what we want to do now in this one is we want to check for the rest of these filters that we've filtered for, obviously. So just start off with else if. So what we're doing is comparing this string to the action string that we got up here. Dot equals action. And um, copy that a couple of times. Bang, bang, bang. State changed. Here she is. Now, what the state changed one is is if like say you've already run your application it's all going uh, and then someone goes and turns Bluetooth off now you don't want to keep running your app with Bluetooth off so you want to recheck for it and run some code so in here we want to check that it is in fact turned off or is turning off BT adapter dot get state exactly equals BT adapter dot state. I'm not sure it's disconnecting it or turning off. State off. It's the one I've been using, so we'll use that one. We want to do the uh, same as before, and since we're doing the same as before, we might as well just chuck it in a um, function or a method turn on BT create method just bang that in there so turn on Bluetooth easy um, so that's that all set up you can do whatever you want in here. I mean, it's your application. Just you know, go nuts. And uh, one more thing before we move on is we want to check. Uh, we want to unregister the receiver on pause. So otherwise, you'll get a crash. So unregister receiver. Receiver, and that's good to go. So yep, yep, yep. Next thing we want to do, um, I might just get rid of that button actually, because I don't, I don't even see the, the need for it at this stage. Just go up here and get rid of all references to the button. And we need to set uh, on list click, on item click list, no, on the list view, so list view dot set on item click listener and we'll just go this so go up here implements on item click listener and add that method in and we'll get to that soon. So what we want to do is we want to check that first. Uh, this will, actually before we do all this shit, uh, we haven't even started discovery yet. So we'll get onto that after we've checked for paired devices. We'll go on and go start discovery. In fact, we probably shouldn't have got rid of that button because that could have been a discover button but you can add that in later if you want so what you could do is you have a button that if you click it starts this all over again so first thing we want to do is bt adapter dot cancel discovery um, so if it is already a discovering we want it to cancel bluetooth adapter dot start discovery now the reason I I did the cancel in the first place is because 
you know if you did in fact have a button and then you spam the button uh, you don't want to be constantly starting discovery while it's already started kind of thing so that'll start so what uh, order of events here we're going to check for the paired devices get them into a nice wee list array and then we're going to start discovery and populate that list array so uh, the list sorry this list here and in the next tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to check that if any of them are matched for example if any devices are in fact paired already we will add a wee checkbox next to them and if they're not we will not do that and just change how it re respond accordingly. Alright, cheers guys. Bye.